create this from a gradient in Clip Studio Paint. Go to the Layer menu and then New Layer and Gradient. Create a default gradient. What you can do then is you can go over here to the gradient and you've got Advanced Settings. So I would suggest that that's Tool Property. So go into Tool Property and then you've got Edit Gradient and then you've got a whole load of presets. Now I've already got a couple of presets here but I can just go with basic one. Sunset's a really nice one. So click that and you've got that selected now and you can modify it in numerous ways. You can add additional stops if you wish but I'm going to go with that. Once you've done that you can also go down here again Tool Property, go to Edge Process and I'm going to go for this one and then go to Size and I can change the size. I can also change if I think, you know what, I prefer that one. Go with the third option. You can create all kinds of different designs just simply by that. But also what you can do, you can go up here to Shape and you can go maybe with, and you can still move that around. So that's the radial design. So once you've done that and you think, I love this gradient, this is great. Well, I can now convert it. So I can go to Layer and I can go to Rasterize. So it's just become a, just a standard layer now. And you can see that over in the Layers panel, just a normal raster layer. Well, then you've got Filters. So you can go to Filter and go down to Distort. And a really good one, I think one brilliant, Wave. So with Wave, straight away, you've got a whole range of different settings. Change the number of waves. And actually, you can create some really odd ones. Just, just play around with the number of waves. That one's four, and I'm using sine. I think triangle, rectangle, not so great, but try them. And you also you can change the wavelength. I'm going to go for a very, very small wavelength, because I want a really intense design like that. And then click OK. And you can run it again. If you want to run it again, run it a couple of times. Perfectly reasonable. Once you've done that, what I want to do, I want to convert it a little bit more. So I'm just going to go to Filter and go down to Effect and Artistic. And there's not vast, and you can see now what I've got. A range, but the tools you've got, the effects and filters you've got in this are really quite unique. Maybe not vast numbers, but certainly they're still pretty amazing, pretty effective. Now you've got colour and lines. Go with that one, perfect reasonable, colour only. However, the one I want, lines only. And I can modify line thickness. So I can change that, create all kinds of variation. And also there, I can go for line simplicity, push it up, change the density. You can see by changing this, you can create a whole range of different designs. I want Personally, I'm going to go with line opacity. And you've also got these obviously colour. That's not going to be much use. But you can see you've got line thickness. Just going to go with that. Click OK. You can still tweak it as well. If you decide, you know what, there's a number of other options. So you go to filter and there's correct line and adjust line width. And then you've got narrow and you can change that. So you can create even more unusual designs. And I quite like just playing around with this, creating some real nice weird combinations. And literally thousands of different combinations can be generated from this sort of design, from the gradient. And of course, if you decide, you know what, I don't like that, you can always undo. And you can always, of course, go to filter, distort and wave. And you can see what happens. You just generate even more intense waves. So just play it again. Maybe play it again if you want. Though at some point it will probably get not so great. So filter, and again, effects, artistic. And again, you've got this sort of design now. Really interesting sort of texture design. I mean, I think that's just a lovely textured swipe. And you, of course, can modify line thickness. And if you always want to change it later, you can always go, let's like, say, filter and correct line. And I love this feature. So it's just... This actually creates quite an interesting sort of like smeariness to it, which is really nice. And you can just tweak that, click OK. And again, you've got this lovely design, which of course you can then save, etc. Use material, whatever. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Always adding new tutorials all the time about Clip Studio Paint, as well as others. Also, dislike or like, always appreciated. Thank you much.